Hi guys, Fireplays here, and welcome or welcome back to a YouTube video on the channel. And today, guys, we are going to be continuing on the Fix the Reaction series. All right, guys. Um, and today we are going to be doing St Kilda. Now, again, one of the more interesting teams, um, as they are a team that will be pushing for the eight in 2022. Now, will they get in the eight? Um, this fixture kind of decides it all, really. Um. I am probably, I might make an updated version of the teams contending for the top eight after the fixture reaction series. Because um, this is, after this, we know the teams, which, which we know which teams we've got an idea of that might make the eight. Now, of course, today, normal rules, predicting every game, hardest and easiest part of the fixture, as well as a rough amount of wins in a rough ladder position. All right, guys. So, now, uh, they start off their season against Collingwood. Um, now, as a team, this is a game that you do need to win. Now, I'm definitely not putting anything against Collingwood. Collingwood um, could definitely come out and could win this game. But I'm just going to say, like, also, like, what they've been through with to go in all that. I'm not going to go into that. But what they've been through that, I think round one could be a hard round for them. So I'm going to say St Kilda are going to take it out. I'm going to say by 10 points. I am going to say it's going to be a tight game. Um, just for that reason that Collingwood don't put too bad round one efforts out either. Um, of course, only losing um, to the runners up Western Bulldogs by 16 points in round one. So I do think they'll actually do okay in the first game. Now, second game, uh, Fremantle St Kilda. This is, this is going to be a very good game. Um, now, round two, of course, has has a lot of good games, actually, especially on the Sunday. Um, and it's North Melbourne West Coast. Richmond GWS and Fremantle St Kilda, you pretty much see every team contending for the top eight play that day except for Essendon. Now, big game here for both teams. I'm going to say Fremantle are going to take it out by by about 20 points just because it's at Optus, but I reckon we've got a good game there. Now I've got St Kilda Richmond at Marvel Stadium, another game which is quite important for the Saints as this as this again could be very important. Um, it's it's against a team contending for the top eight. They don't have the hardest start to the year either, so this is definitely a winnable game. Although I do think Richmond are going to be a very good team this year, so I think they are, they should be able to win this one by twenty points. Now, uh, this this start just gets easier for the Saints as they go on per week. Uh, Hawthorne, they've got Hawthorne MCG. This is a St Kilda win by twenty five points, and then in round number. Six, in, in round number five, St Kilda taking on Gold Coast. It's going to be a St Kilda win by 40 points. Um, and then round six, that could all come to an end when they play a Giants Monica over Friday night. Still a good game, I reckon, but I reckon the Giants should be able to win by 20 points. Um, and then they go up to Cairns, because they starting to play Port Adelaide in round number seven. Whoa, this, 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 could, this could be good, but considering they did lose up, they did lose to Adelaide up there. Uh, I'm going to say Port Adelaide will win this one by by um, 35 points. Melbourne, St Kilda. Melbourne by 40 points. St Kilda, Geelong. Geelong by 35. So that's the first 10 rounds done, which we haven't really had a good look at them in depth. So um, we're going to go back over a couple of games. Now, this one is massive. Freeman or St Kilda. This... Doesn't really set up the season, but this win is is critical for whichever team ends up getting it. Especially if it's Fremantle, as they have a very hard fixture towards the end. They have the first ten rounds are easy; if the next is hard. And for St Kilda, uh, still yet to find out, of course. But that game is critical, very critical. So is the one after that against Richmond, another critical game. Hawthorne, Gold Coast. These are all critical games for the Saints as well as they look to make the eight. Now, they've got Adelaide in round number 10 um, at the level. Now, I, I can't see this being too much of a problem for the Saints, or it shouldn't be anyway. So, I'm going to say St Kilda win this one by 25 points. Uh, and then they play the Roos, 35-point uh, win for the Saints. And then they play the Lions. This is a 35, no, 45-point win for the Lions. Uh, St Kilda rest in the, this, this game. Is going to be a good game. This is a big game as well. Now, St Kilda, they can absolutely like bomb out sometimes. They can just not play. They can have a horrible season this year. Or they could really be like back. They could really come back and they could really bite hard and they could again finish in finals. So, for St Kilda, this is going to be very interesting. This game, of course, critical yet again. Now, let's go and upset. Let's go and upset. And I reckon, I reckon the Saints could get the job done. They could. 
Am I tempted to go Essendon? I am tempted to go Essendon, however. I am very tempted to go Essendon. St Kilda did beat Sydney in the final round of the... Well, in one... It was either round 21, 22 or 23 they defeated Sydney at Marvel. I'm going to say... Oh, this is a tough one though because Sydney went on a real form slump a little bit from there. Look, look, this is a tough one. I've spent a fair bit of time debating about this one. Uh, on camera, you guys get to see the real reaction. Like, um, oh, this is this is such a tough one. Look, I'm going to back the Dons by by five points. That's going to be a close game. Sydney St Kilda um, SCG Sydney by forty points. Carlton St Kilda Marvel St Kilda by thirty points. St Kilda Fremantle Marvel. Now this is another. Massive game. Could go either way. I'm going to say Fremantle by 10. Western Bulldogs, St Kilda. It used to be a tradition that St Kilda always won. But last year, they got hammered by about 100 and something points. So, I'm going to say that the winner of this game is Western Bulldogs by 50 points. West Coast, St Kilda. Oh, wow. Wow. This is a good game right here. Now, again... Again, this could definitely be a big win to West Coast. Could definitely be a big win to St Kilda. Or it could be really close. I'm going to say the Saints by 10. St Kilda, Hawthorne Marble Stadium. St Kilda by, by 40. Geelong, St Kilda, GMHBA. Geelong by 20. I'm going to say 28. I just feel like that's the margin. Uh, St Kilda, Brisbane Marvel. Um, Brisbane by, by 15. Uh, and then St Kilda, Sydney Marvel. I'm going to say, oh, ho, oh, oh, this could go either way as well. This is a close game here. Look, I, I could, I'm could. i tempted for an upset. I'm tempted for an upset here. I am tempted for an upset. Do I go an upset, though? Oh, I'm going to say safe. I'm going to say the Swans by 20. That's critical, that last game as well. Because I feel like they've done okay. So we got one. Got one. We got um, got two. We got three. 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 Three, four, five, five. Only five, six. Only six, seven, eight. Only eight. Only eight. That does not put you in contention for the eight. So now, if we go over like how many wins they could possibly have, so on a scale of how many games they could possibly win, we got one. We've got two. We've got three, we've got four, we've got five, we've got six, um, six so far, that's a good start. Seven, eight, um, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen is how many wins they could possibly get. Like thirteen, like that's pretty good. Now that that means they win against Collingwood, that means they win against Fremantle, that means they win against Richmond, so I'm gonna say twelve. I just don't know if they have enough to do it against Richmond. But that means they win against Collingwood. They win against Fremantle, right? They win against Hawthorne, Gold Coast. They win against the Giants. Wait, did I even count the Giants? Hang on, wait. Let's go back and check. One, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11, so I must have counted the Giants for it to be 12, so 11 still doesn't get you into the 8. So if they were to get into the 8-1, they'd ha they have to beat three maps. So then you've got 1, 2, and then you've got 3, 4, uh, you've only got 4 so far. Then you've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11. You'd have to get one more win from somewhere. So... They could definitely still make the eight, but based on how many wins I think they're going to get, let's go with that now. So we've got one, we've got one, we've got got one, we've got two, three, and then we've got um, four, five, six. No, I didn't say that. So I've got five, they've got six, they've got six, they've got seven, they've got eight. I reckon eight. So that, if we look at the past, I'm not sure where that could kind of get you to be. But eight would almost be a disappointment for the Saints, would it? I don't know. Like, eight wins. That's that's an interesting amount, right? So, eight wins would get you from... So that, Right, let's just go over how many wins they could have first. So, I'm going to say seven to about 
13 or 12. Now, this is a big range. Now, St Kilda are one of the most, um, one of almost the hard teams to predict in the competition just because of how, how, how they can be from one week to another. So, because they lost a game against Carlton this year, I meant last year, they, and then they won a game against, um, against, oh, who did they win? A, like, they would have won a good game against someone last year, like, um, Sydney. So they won a game against Sydney, but they lost a the game against Carlton. Like, they almost lost against the Suns as well. So St Kilda are a very changing team. So that means they can easily get seven wins. And they could definitely easily get 12 as well. So then that puts you in, in, a, in a hard position, right? That gets you from seventh to about 14th. So for St Kilda, this is one of the, this is one of the hardest teams I've had to do this year. Just because of how, how different they can be. And, like, they can come out one week, let's say, against the Suns. They can come out and smash them by 60 points. Then they can go play the Giants next week, and they can get hammered by 60 points. So it it does depend on how how well the Saints play and if they bring their A game to every game. Because sometimes last year, they just were not doing that. That's why they finished out of the eight. So pretty much this year, that's going to bring us to the end of another fixture reaction. Now, pretty much this year um, for the Saints, I think they're going to finish anywhere from 7th to 14th. I know not a good in indication. Anywhere from 7 to 12 wins now. Uh, you guys can let me know your thoughts in the comment section. This is this is, this is is the hardest team I've had to do, I reckon, all all series. Um, And we've got Sydney, West Coast, Western Bulldogs coming up, and then it's the end of the series. So, um, I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit notification bell, then you guys will never miss another video on the channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Bye guys. Fireplays out.